For 13 days, we're celebrating the six month anniversary of our Gotcha Day with Cadence by re watching and reacting to our India trip with our kids. Today is day two, continuing the first leg of our trip and arriving in New Delhi. of the celebration for Katie being in our family in at home for six months. So today we are doing day two video and we're gonna react to uh, the 14 hour flight and us arriving in India. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Duh, 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 duh. Nice to me at the bottom. Oh, oh the crying baby. The baby. <laughs> you hear the baby crying? Yeah. Guys, that baby cried for here. so many hours. Like 10 out of the 14 hours. It was bad. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad. The baby's ears are probably hurting and everything. The dad was, we were we were positioned near a section of walking space at, at like a separation area in, in the, the classes. And the, the dad was just, pat, you know, pacing back and forth, you know, patting the baby on the back and everything. Our bodies think it's 8 a.m. <laughs> The clock says it's our, 7 p.m. Our bodies think it's 8 a.m., but our but the clock says it's 7 p.m. It's gonna take a lot of adjustment. That's trippy. We've been eating on the plane. Yeah, it's so dumb. Indian food, and uh, I've enjoyed it thoroughly. So, when we got into it's Delhi, it was 7 p.m. Delhi uh, time, but our bodies were telling us, you need to be awake all day. Why are you going to sleep? Good news is we were so tired, we were able to go to the hotel and just go to sleep and actually sleep through the night, so the jet lag didn't affect us but more than a few hours. We woke up we woke up Sunday pretty refreshed. And I don't know if it was our idea or if the I think actually our social workers told us to make sure you schedule Sunday as a day off. A day of rest. Because we didn't yeah, a day of rest. So we didn't go to the orphanage till Monday, guys. So our first full day in India was uh, another travel day but it was still adjusting to Indian time. If you're joining us like for the first time ever, like we hope that you will react to this with us and uh, record it on your own and, and record your reaction and post it to your channel and post a link in the description so we want to watch you react to our trip with us one video at a time for 13 days. Hey, you were here. I feel like we got in at like 10 o'clock. I still haven't. By the time we got to the hotel. I um, and it, 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 it oh, 10 p.m.? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, still, it took a while to well, get through customs. We're feeling it in all of our joints. Right. So hopefully that goes away. Even though the airport was empty at 7 p.m. on a Saturday. It was, it was, there's no urgency at that airport? <laughs> yeah. 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 So Dad, why we should have a little quick process and we'll get our What bags. you just said? We have some from the hotel to get us up. At the real we'll see how that goes. You feel like it's Saturday, but Saturday hasn't come yet? Right, it's because, right. Of, it's because of the time change. Um, it was a 14 hour flight. But we lost almost a full day. It was basically a 24 hour flight on the clock. Yeah. Got through immigration, we're in, and... Uh, because of a 10 hour time difference. It's confusing, but it was like being in the air for 24 hours. Grab those bags, head off to sleep. So, so it's like we skipped a day, exactly. Just by taking the flight. It's like yeah. time travel. <laughs> and then, okay, I just gotta say this. I'm gonna be dead honest. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely transparent. I have never had an experience in my life where I was the only white person in the place. Like even at when the military like, guys, massive weaponry. It, it and I know terrifying. that. I know what I'm saying is a very privileged thing to say. I know it's a very Anglo thing, a very American thing to say, because I'm used to being just one of many white people and in a pretty white society. But when we got off the plane, we did, and we came out of customs, and you're like a, in an area of the airport where it's like a kind of like a shopping mall. That's our driver. And I looked around, and it was all Indian people. It wasn't scary. It was just like, whoa, this is like a surreal moment. I'm really in India because my wife and I are the only white people here. And it was so 
cool and different, and it was just a really surreal experience. It's like, wow, we are really here. And then, of course, the driving is very different with the, the lanes quickly intermingling and stuff like that. Very different than America. The hotel was gorgeous. Amazing hotel. We love our Marriott staff. I want. I hope. Uh, yeah. I hope Shout you're out. watching. Shout out to all the Marriott staff in in Delhi. Some of the best people we experienced were there. Sumit, we love you, man. Wait, is is? You know, there's a magic going on. That time, I'm just so happy to be in bed. Finally hit a bed. And Melanie on the couch. Had even showered just, yet. Man, Pro probably disgusting. Horizontally. I probably got four oh, hours tops. I think I got 90 minutes. <laughs> 90, 90 minutes total? If, if you had that, that's crazy. On a 14, you well, basically, 24 hour flight. Yeah. Staying away from Every hotel night. here not, around the, not, around not the not airport. Not a problem for me. Not a problem for you? Has I want you to say that. It's the noise. It's the airplane yeah, noise. Yeah, the noise is very loud. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember how loud the airplane was coming home, Katie? Barriers. No, it was that girl like, slept the whole time. She, she did. You slept the whole time. She didn't have a problem sleeping. You slept the whole way home on the airplane. Do you remember? No, well, she was sleeping. Well, sure. I know. She's like, I have no idea. <laughs> That's true. She remembers getting on a plane and then getting off a plane. You know, it was like a 90 minute flight. His trunk, people inspected the inner compartment of his trunk. He just saw his, uh, his uh, engine compartment. They inspected the inner parts of his engine compartment. It's kind of unsettling, but I mean, I guess the security here is top notch. He must have shirt for safe. I will say that this is quite a bit of culture shock. The moment oh, look at this. I'm talking about the culture the shock. I didn't even oh. think I mentioned that. Everyone who approaches us if I knows we're different, you. talks to us like we're different, has that hesitation with us like we're different. You're and there's a, there's a language barrier with <laughs> most people. I think I've only had... I mean, our, ta our, our taxi driver was able to communicate it's with so us. It's so fun well. to watch these uh, videos, but I keep finding myself and listening and forgetting I'm recording a reaction video. I'm like, no, shut up, I want to listen. <laughs> So, Katie, like this is two days it, before it, we got here. We, for all the time we spent, two days, Bengali, one day before, two days before, before we came to get here. Most of the country speaks Hindi. From, we should have learned a few words from the in Hindi. <laughs> Sorry, we 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 that. That. That's the taxi cab driver. I had to say no. thank you in Hindi. Yeah, we didn't learn any Hindi. I don't know what is wrong with us. We I mean, we spent more time, time in Delhi than anything else. I know, that's true. I mean, we learned, we learned, um, many people have been like, why don't you learn Bengali? And I don't think they realize, we learned a lot of, a lot of Bengali to be able to speak with Katie for the first month. Right. So when it would come to, like, government buildings and things, we didn't do that. Yep. We'll then we're and then, then exactly. Then we're back in Delhi, where everyone mostly speaks Hindi or English, and many people spoke mostly Hindi um, that we encountered. For, for uh, we were we were in trouble. <laughs> the good news is that all of our our cab drivers worked for the hotel, and all of them were they spoke they spoke English. They were bilingual Hindi and English, and and then it's like so many people in India speak English. It's it's, it's like a natural thing to speak it as a second language. That's it, guys. Guys, that's how short that one. Logan's like, what's that? What's it's over? So that's it for today's video. What'd you think? We're gonna we're we'll watch another one tomorrow, but we're doing one day at a time. What'd you think? So that was mommy and daddy on the plane. We got off the plane, we went to a hotel and we slept. Was that exciting? Yeah. No. <laughs> you don't have to no. lie. <laughs> Okay, it's all right. Hey, we're doing these. We're doing one video a day. So remember, part of our 13-day celebration is that we want you to react with us. We would love for you to go watch this video. The link is in the description. In fact, the link to the entire playlist is in the description. We want you to record yourself or your family, you and your kids, you and your spouse, uh, your loved ones, your friends, whatever. Maybe a big group of people all reacting to the video and then post it to your channel. Even if you don't have a channel, everyone has a channel that you can upload videos to. So maybe it'll be the first video you've ever uploaded. We would love to be the first video you ever posted to your channel. So upload that video and then share the link to that video in the description of this video because we want to put together a big playlist 
of reaction videos of people reacting to this trip just like we're doing now. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Guys, can you say that with me? Like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Everyone say bye. Bye.